They can they flip on you. <laughs> Pat people get mad at the different beats. But then you know what it is, Richard? Like I said, and I always say this, what you start out with is what you end up with. And our expectations when we get mad seems to change. You yeah. know what you started yeah. out with. Yeah. And now we marry, I'm expecting more. You didn't tell me that before we got married, what you was expecting. So then our expectation level goes up. Well, it goes both ways. With, with both. Yeah, it it oh. goes both ways, but, you know, because, look, if I met you and you didn't have a job, and I know you're looking for me, we married five years, and I start talking with my friends. Now, I can't expect you to be like the friend, husband, <laughs> who have a college degree and a good job. So my expectation level goes up. So now we have a problem. Mm -hmm. When you know I married you, you didn't have a job. Mm -hmm. You didn't have a college education, but you was looking for one. So now I'm trying to compete with my friend's husband because he has a job and a college degree. So my, I, now my our relationship didn't change now because my expectations mm -hmm. didn't run up. Well, yeah. well, if, well if, if you've been married for five years and you ain't got a job today. <laughs> but people do that. Talk, they start no, talking no. to other people. If, they start talking if, to other if, people. If, 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 if you get married and you've been looking for a job for five years and ain't got a job, mm -hmm. you know, something's wrong. <laughs> you're just supposed to have a job before you get there. I don't care what somebody says. You know what? Right. No, you're, supposed to, you're supposed to have a job before you say, I do. Yeah. Let, 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 let's be realistic. Okay, okay. now, where is because, this? Did you see that in the Bible? Let, let's be realistic. That's okay. common sense. No, common That's sense. That's common sense. Did you, did you see anything in the Bible that says lower pay your rent? Let me tell you something. No, no, I ask you. First of all, they didn't have jobs in the Bible when they got married. They didn't have jobs. You asked me. Wait a minute. They didn't have jobs when they got married in the Bible. Yes, they did. No, they, they, they had skills. No, they didn't. They had skills and they had their family to help Not them. Not all of them. They, they had, had their they family. Had, they had their family to help One talk at a time. Yeah. Now, both of you can't talk they had, time. They had um, <laughs> land. And stuff, but everybody that got married did not have a job. They had they had family members back then. It was a family. I, I, I believe they back said then, Jesus back was then, poor. It was a family. It was a family unit because because if you read in the Old Testament, you see you see how all the uncles and cousins and they all was together. They worked together. They, didn't they say worked together. Well, so 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 they had help. <laughs> so what so they had now? help. You you see most time. During that time, uh, it was country boys, and it was like a farm, and everybody worked on their farm or something like that. Right. But now, today it's all together. Today, different. today it's all, all today different. Today it's all together. It's different, but society says that you need to have a good job, and you need to have this, and you need to have that before you get married. Well, okay, then if that's the case. Why so many people that had all of this good money and good jobs right. and stuff divorced? That's right. Because because the simple, simple fact is like that, as you said, as, as was said before, everybody has this one. Well, their reason why they go into these marriages and they think that they love this person, they think they love that person, and they don't really get to get to know each other. When, 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 if, if, okay, if, when, if you don't okay. know, that's the, that's the reason when Bridget was talking about before about courtship and about 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 you, you even in six months you still ain't still still not enough time to get to know somebody. But people, but 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 people people change. You know, you don't believe in first sight marriage. Love 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 first love sight, love. Love. Love, love at first sight. Love. Yeah, love, listen, love, 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 love at first sight is a to, to, to me. To, to be honest with me, you know, you can love somebody at first sight, but you have to have something to offer. I'm, 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 I can't, I can't, I can't go into a relationship. You know, and me being a man, I can't go into a relationship empty-handed. And you have, you have, and you got, you have certain, you got, you have different countries mm -hmm. have that, different that 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 have a right. dowry. Different standards. It has different yeah. have a dowry. Yeah. I can bring four goats. <clears throat> But but he has something to, to give. Yeah, but, yeah. but but I'm, I'm saying is that is that is that everything, especially 
things have changed from back then Moses' time until now. Things, things have changed. You know, you can, you can, you can be with a person. You know, as as, as Bishop was saying, you know, as you date, uh, uh, um, dating everything, or they bring you a glass of water, they bring you slippers, you know, they bring you newspapers. But as soon as you sign it in on the dotted line, oh, you may go go, go get your papers outside somewhere in the bushes, you know, <laughs> on water. Sure. But I, I, I'm like uh, Evangelist Odom said, there are people that married when you got a good job. And after a while, you lose that job. Then what happens then you, you're out of the job for two or three months? See, okay, that's a good picture, right? You, you hear what you just said? Yeah. You hear what you just yeah, said? Right. They had a job. Yeah. So they was working. Okay? Things happen. But they had a job. It's not like you coming in with no job, no, no income, no nothing. He had a job. Okay, so he had a job. The wife, wh wh whoever was their job, they the, the other supposed to carry those loads until something comes up. But it's not, it's not, it's not, it's not like you just walk into it and and, and I, I I I got a bunch of holes in my pocket because 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 that can't hold nothing in it, you know, and and, and and you get married. But it's different. It's it's, it's a big difference, you know. If if a, if, a, if, if people if people had a job. It's a big difference, it's a, it's a big difference. But it shouldn't make a difference because there's a there's a thing uh, as love at first sight. If God can do all things, just like you didn't have nothing before you got saved, God saved you, sent you to school and got you a college degree. He could do the same thing to that man that don't have nothing. What the Bible if they say? trust is in is what, the Lord. What the Bible if say a man don't work, work, he don't eat. He don't eat. Now how do you, he could be doing the hustle on the side working, taking care of his family. That's not, that's, that's not, 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 that's not
he should be referencing that by his wife. The same thing with the wife with the husband. Mm -hmm. Or the husband with the wife. Both right. or vice versa. Mm -hmm. So this this is a it's a thing now. It, it, it's no guarantee. <coughs> uh, you marry a woman, uh, you go with a, a, a wife, you marry and, and something happened to you, you take sick. And you can't work no on them for that. She gotta take care of you. Now, if you have a, a very good husband, <laughs> you better call your family. <laughs> but it's, it's the one thing that we have to look. You see, when we get into anything, we get into point. And we have to remember one thing, that we're saved, mm -hmm. and we want to please God. Right. So, in, in all that we do, mm -hmm. whether it's our neighbor, our wife, our children, our other, we do everything in pleasing mm -hmm. in the sight of God. Our attitude toward them, you know, we can get out of place sometimes, but we try to keep our cool because of who we are and because we love the Lord. So we put up with a lot of stuff. <clears throat> I like this here. It says, furthermore, many of them had unsaved husbands and needed extra encouragement and reminder. Mm -hmm. You do have to, when you say that you have an unsaved husband, you do need Well, what do you what do you mean? More in wait a minute. Say, many of them have unsaved husbands and need extra encouragement and enlightenment. Mm -hmm. and that means dealing with him. Right. How to deal with your unsaved husband? Don't don't just badger him and throw him out and you know. Well, now this is where the church comes in. Right. The church should be able to counsel you if you have a little problem mm -hmm. that, that, that to sit and talk with you and, and, and counsel you and help you out and help you along mm -hmm. because you're a member of the church. That's right. Mm -hmm. Whether he's not a member of it, find out you, you, why should I worry about getting this man saved and he got a wife? Why, why can't I focus on the wife also? That's right. Mm -hmm. All right. Maybe if I treat him not to talk to him right and get him to understand, he would uh, enlighten his wife or do nice to his wife and start bringing her to church. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Because you want both of them. Right, because it's a soul. You need, you now, I've seen, uh, now, as I said before, you heard me say, there were people that were right here in the church. Mm -hmm. Their husband would bring them to church, sit in the car till they leave out to go back home. Mm -hmm. And wouldn't come in. Mm -hmm. And I mean, uh, something is wrong there somewhere along the line. Mm -mm. I don't know. I'm just trying to work on the church. <laughs> what? Uh, she's not telling them about salvation? Or she's not treating them right? Or what, what, what's the hold up there? They because might be of telling them things that's going on in the in church, church. they don't want to, they said, no, 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 that's going no, no. on in the church. what? Show. They might be telling them things that's going on in the church, mm -hmm. which turn them off. And they well, say, that, that is wrong. Yeah, it is when wrong. you go back home and, and, and telling even your own children, mm -hmm. it's wrong to go back home and, and, and talk, about, talk what's about what's going on in the church. Mm -hmm. Then you put everybody off on air right there. Mm -hmm. Them old people, you know. Mm -hmm. And and sometimes they come with an attitude mm -hmm. to the children. Well, if it is how you talk. Yeah. If you go around them talking and okay. you know, all, sure they're gonna have an attitude. Right. Gonna if somebody was there. If somebody was in the church uh, valuing my mother, mm -hmm. and I know if I saw them having an attitude with you. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. But I'm 
But it's rare yeah. if a person bring their spouse to church and they sit outside. That yeah. says something for the church. <laughs> you mean to tell me the spirit they hit them out there? And sometimes they might not have to say anything to their spouse. That's pretty bad. Unless that's an atheist person. Because my, mm -hmm. my father was like that. He was an atheist. He would bring my mother to church and he would engulf me in time because he was an atheist. Until, he was until no, until he got sick. You think he and was he? He was an atheist. Mm -hmm. And he would bring her to church and sit outside and wait for her. But when he got sick and God performed a miracle in my in his bedroom, that's when he got saved and started coming to church. Because he knew nobody did it but God. But before then, he used to sit outside. He was an atheist. He didn't believe in God. Mm -hmm. Well, well, I believe there is a, 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 a wife has an influence mm -hmm. over her husband, mm -hmm. and the husband has so much influence over the wife. Mm -hmm. And I think it takes all that little stuff together. Mm -hmm. Something should come out of it. Wow. Mm -hmm. Now it's hard to, if a person is, as long as they, if he was an atheist, well, she, well when she married him, he was an atheist, right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Well, yeah. Yeah. And and I want to give this example too. My nephew told me I could use it as an example. He went to jail for 20 something years for uh, being at the place of a murder. Mm -hmm. He spent 20 something years in jail. When the lady stepped in the court, the woman said, that is not the young man that shot my husband. That's what freed me. Mm -hmm. When you come out of jail and incarcerated for that long a time, I don't care if they expunge the record, it's still hard for you to get a job. But thanks mm -hmm. be to God, he had skills in jail. He cooked and he know how to cut hair. So he has his barber license. It's the, the government still gives him hard time to get a job, but he works. He has his own home down south. He's married, has four children. They, they graduated honors out of high school. They're in college. He didn't work a nine to five like everybody else, but his wife loved him and she married him and went down south with him. He didn't have nothing out of jail. Went down south. God blessed him to use his hand. He said, I bless your hands in anything you do. He wasn't lazy. He cooked and sold dinners outside his house and cut people hair, paid off his mortgage, sent his, his kids to school, and they in college now. So though God can do anything. He can change anybody. Who are we to say that you have to have X, Y, Z? Because the logical thing is that's what the world says. That's the world's standard, not God's standard. Because he said all things is possible through me. So we can't look at, we want to have that pretty picture, perfect thing. But life is not like that. Well, look at this guy, he was oppressed. He was in the, he would, would come here every night and then. And uh, he, he was a guy, he didn't, he couldn't go out and just get a job. But he knew how to do things. He could work on jobs yeah. and still make money, you know what I mean? So it's not a man might not hold on an eight hour job, but maybe like like he you know what I'm saying. Yeah. He go out and uh, yeah, he, he do And work. some of those jobs are more you they can pay yeah. more. Yeah. yeah. And it's a lifetime thing because when you right. have a gift and you use your hands right. with your gift, right. that's a lifetime thing. Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right, let's move on now. Physical dwell with them. This implies much more than sharing the same address. Marriage is fundamentally a physical relationship. They too shall be one flesh, Ephesians 5, 31. 
Of course, Christian may enjoy a deeper spiritual relationship, but the two go together. First Corinthians 7, 1 through 5. A truly spiritual husband will fulfill his marital duties and love his wife. Mm -hmm. The husband must make time to be home with mm -hmm. his wife. Yeah. Christian workers in church offices who get too busy running around solving other people's problems mm -hmm. may end up creating problems of their own at That's home. True. One survey revealed that the average husband and wife have 37 minutes a week together in actual communication. Mm -hmm. Is it any wonder that that marriage falls apart after the children grow up and mm -hmm. leave home? The husband and wife are left alone to live with strangers. Yeah, right. to, to live with, with strangers. That, strangers. I'm strangers. They mm -hmm. should have said that. It's, yeah, it's no, live with strangers. <laughs> now, wait a minute. Uh, let's let's talk a little bit on that. It's the truth. Because we, you know what? I, I look at um, Bishop Fowler, and he's a good example of a husband, a bishop, and a father. Because he does think they have one night for him and the wife, one night for him and the children, one night for all of them together. And this is every week plus doing his ministry at the different, you know, ministries that he has to do. You have to do that. You have to, and then you have to communicate with your spouse. Right. And they yeah. have to be in agreement with what you're doing and behind you. Right. You know, because if not, then you'll have, he's always in the ministry. He, mm -hmm. he don't have time for nobody else. Nobody. And mm -hmm. everything is about the ministry. And I got to go and never tell the wife. So you're going to go apart. Because yeah. you over here and I'm over there. What time we have together? And then we come home, we mad at each other because I wanted you with me and you over here somewhere. Mm -hmm. So that's a mess. Yeah. Yeah. And then they start being accusing one another. And then it's easy because you're the one that's separating yourself. Well, the devil not have nothing to do with that. Yeah, but they don't think that, whether it's wife or husband, mm -hmm. they don't think that they are uh, making a difference there uh, with, with all their meetings that they have to go to and, and uh, mm -hmm. they speak to here and there mm -hmm. and going out of town and all like that. Mm -hmm. and, the, and the children know how to know them. Mm -hmm. That would be a problem. Yeah. That's 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 up to an individual too. Mm -hmm. Now he you know you know you you're married you got a family. You can't just go away. I mean you you're away from home every weekend. Mm -hmm. Every week you're away from home. And 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 uh, that's not gonna work. Mm -hmm. But you know um, a lot of these people, that's why a lot of the bishops started taking their wives. Yeah. 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 But if you got yeah. young children, what do you want to do? Yeah, that's right. They have to remember to take care of them. Yeah. That's creating out one that problem. That could be the <laughs> one problem with the wife, but, yes. but then it's still a problem with the children. Right. Not really, because usually it's the grandmother to take care of them. Yeah, yeah they but need to see their father. For, you know, they need that to spend some time with them too. When they grow up, they remember that. When my father was already gone. But I, well, I don't know about nobody else, but mm -hmm. I know he spent time with his kids mm -hmm. too. Well, some of them do. A lot of, a lot of, a lot of the bishops I know, they spend a lot of time with their children, their pastors. Yeah, they, yeah. they do. Mm -hmm. They don't leave them like that. They yeah. don't ignore them. They have men, children time. Yeah. I mean, knowing, reading the word, and you preaching, and you better make some time for your children. Right. That's true. <laughs> you want them to be saved. Right. Yeah. You better turn them off. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. All right, let's move on now. Dwell with them also suggests that the husband provide for the physical and material needs of the home. 
While it is not wrong for a wife to have a job or career, her first responsibility is to care for the home. Mm -hmm. Titus 2, 4, and 5. It is the husband who should provide. 1 Timothy 5 and 8. Now, you know, there's a lot of churches don't even uh, want their wives to go out and work. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. They, they, they said it's wrong for the wife to go out and work. So, well, if they can make enough money to take care of and leave her home, that's good. Right. Mm -hmm. But there are so many who can't do that. Right. right. And it, 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 it is good because the wife is supposed to stay home yeah. and take care of the house and the children. That's a job within itself. It is. Yeah. But some of these men, it's so selfish, they do. They, oh, you got to get a job too. I can't take this. I can't do all of this by myself. Not knowing that God made you the head. Mm -hmm. And if he said he, he made you the head and you trusted in God, he's going to supply mm -hmm. all you need mm -hmm. according to his riches and glory. Mm -hmm. So whatever you want, if you serve in God, you pay your tithes, God's going to make sure you have enough for you and your family. Mm -hmm. yeah. See, that's the person trusted in God, mm -hmm. You see, now that's when we have to put our trust in God. Mm -hmm. Then God do open up ways for us, make ways for us. But if you have stepping, mm -hmm. no, he's not going to do that. Mm -hmm. Cause it, 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 what the Bible says, a man don't uh, provide for his own family. He's, he's worse than the infidel. <laughs> He's supposed to, if, He's if you marry a wife and you got children, a wife and all, you're supposed to provide for them. Mm -hmm. If she works, she wake. If you don't, she you still got to take yeah. care of And the old school, in the old times, the, the husbands didn't want their wives to work. Mm -hmm. They wanted them to be home. Well, right. I'll tell you now, they can't say that. Mm -hmm. When you got rent two and three thousand dollars a month. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> But if you, I know my neighbor, my neighbor never worked for 33 years I know him. Right, well that's good. Never worked, her husband worked. That's yeah. good. You still and he'll just retire. Yeah. You still have men that are like that. Yeah. And, and you depend on God. God will make he way. He will for God. Mm -hmm. Yes, he will. Mm -hmm. He will make a way out of it. Have to be a professor. Mm -hmm. I think God will make ways for you. Yes, he will. Yeah. All right. Intellectual according to knowledge. Somebody asked Mrs. Albert Einstein if she understood Dr. Einstein's theory of what was called relativity. relativity. And she replied, No, mm -hmm. but I understand the doctor in my uh, <laughs> as a pastor, I often gave the couple pads of paper and I asked them to write down the three things each one thinks the other enjoys doing the most. Usually the prospective bride made her list immediately. The man would sit and ponder. And usually the girl was right, but the man wrong. What a beginning for a man. It is amazing that two married people can live together and not really know each other. Ignorance is dangerous in any area of life, but it is especially dangerous in a marriage. A Christian husband needs to know his wife's moods, feelings, needs, fears, and hopes. Mm -hmm. He needs to listen with his heart and share meaningful communication with her. This must be in the home. Yeah. So, such a prospective atmosphere of love and submission that the husband and wife can disagree and still be happy together. Yeah. Amen. Oh, oh, let's, let's deal with that. <coughs> mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Agree to disagree. Let me hear somebody talk on that. It is amazing that two married people can live together and not really know each other. That's sad. That, that, that That's can sad. happen. Yeah. They become strangers to one another. <laughs> because there's no communication. Right. And no there's forgiveness. No love, no love no and communication. no communication and no 
forgiveness and what's sad. What Somebody sad lost is, something somewhere yeah. along the yeah. line. Mm -hmm. and now, there had to be there had to be some loss somewhere. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But like I said before, we can say things to each other so hard mm -hmm. to kill everything in you. Yeah. But that's and happen. then and then don't apologize. See, that's the worst thing. You know you done hurt my feelings and you don't want to apologize, but yet you want me to kiss you. Mm -hmm. I'm <laughs> 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 mm -hmm. Right. Now you want me to be a <laughs> I want to punch you. <laughs> <laughs> you know, <laughs> that's, that's something. But it happened, but you know what? You can get angry, the Bible said, or said not. And you're not going to always agree. Right. But you know that you're, you're supposed to be one. Love each other. You're not always going to yeah, But something happened along the way that broke that thing down. Well, maybe so, Jerry, what you talking about that? <laughs> well, as you say, something had to happen along the way mm -hmm. for two people to live together and not even know each other. That is so true. Mm -hmm. You be together for so many years, and you still don't know each other. And that's because in the beginning, it starts from the beginning, mm -hmm. you know. And so, I, so I, what you said what no love there. Maybe not the right love, because everybody loves differently. Everybody look at love on a different perspective. And love is not love. Mm -hmm. So, I, I, I'll fly a little bit earlier in what y'all was saying about living off of love or loving at first sight. Yes, because love plays the biggest part yes. in the marriage, yeah, in a relationship before marriage takes place. Exactly. So yes, two people can come together and you can fall in love. That's the key word, in love. Mm -hmm. Once you become in love with someone, then you get to know the person. Right. So you're not walking around not knowing. It tells you exactly here what it got to be about. The moods, the feelings, the needs, mm -hmm. the fears, and the hopes. Yeah, yeah. You can't go into a marriage thinking you hold everything. Right. Thinking that you, yeah, the man is the provider, but he can't go in there thinking, I'm going to provide and do everything. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to put love on the side. No, love is number one. That's right. And that's why his words say, I will supply all your needs. The wife mm -hmm. acts up with, with the husband. Well, then you have, you, it's, it's a possibility. I'm going to go it's, back to what I said. Because uh -huh. a man makes a woman. Right. Mm -hmm. So if the wife acts up with the husband, nine out of ten times, the man is going to provoke her. Well, somebody done did something. He done mm -hmm. did something to turn her off mm -hmm. and shut her down. Because a man makes a woman. He's the head of the house. So whatever move she in, he can make it. He can so change it. He something to hurt her feelings and whatever, whatever. But that's not in all cases. In sometimes, well, if the, in the case in that all the cases. husband is, is, is in all cases. and he's the head of his household. Because we know some cases the woman is the head of the household. You know, she well, she's not supposed to be, but uh, she, yeah, she's not supposed to allow him to be the, you know, to be the one. They're supposed to be one when they get married. Right. Well, and sometimes family members are, are, are uppermost important. And they neglect the husband for the family members. Well, that's in the some, husband's in some fault, you know, mm -hmm. because he needs to step up as a man and, and take care of his household. And if she can't abide by that, you're supposed to be the head of the house. You're supposed to tell your wife that the, you're supposed to forsake all of them. Yeah, you're supposed to. Because you're my wife. Mm -hmm. And if you can't do that, then we, we're going to have to go problem. to the bishop and talk to the bishop mm -hmm. about the problem. And if that doesn't solve it, the Bible, the Bible made a clear yeah. way of escape for you. Mm -hmm. If you cannot get along, separate, but remain unmarried. Remain unmarried. Okay, so you don't stay in a marriage like that mm -hmm. because God is not getting no glory out of it from neither one of you. And you know, and, and people make a big thing about separating. But God is looking at the division 
and the confusement that you have. He's not an author of confusion. No, not. So if he put you together and then you can't stay together, he already made the provisions for you to separate. You, ain't, you think if they separate, they're going to stay separated? Yeah, because if they're not together now, they might have sense enough to, if you separate and think about it, you, what you did, and she think about what she did, they might can come back together and reason together. But if you st stay there and he's sleeping in one room and you in another room or you upstairs and he downstairs and there's no communication, well, what's the sense in being together? Just so I can help you pay your bill or you can help me pay my bill? Mm -hmm. That's sorry. That God is not getting any glory out of that. And if that's my wife or my husband, your family has to, uh-uh, you have to speak up. I married you, not your family. Well, that's true. That's true. <laughs> the same thing with a, with, a, with a wife, or a wife with a husband. Mm -hmm. Well, that's why I agree with our Evangelist Odom in reference to the man makes the woman. Because you have to look at it. When children are born, the first man they are connected to is that dad. So now, if dad is out of the household, that image is missing. Mm -hmm. So that first man that they come in contact to is going to make them, is going to instill things into them. Mm -hmm. Whether it's a boy in school, you know, or whether it's someone that they meet later on in life. Mm -hmm. So now they have taken on what they have learned mm -hmm. from that man. Mm -hmm. So now they're dating. Now who, whoever, whoever was that first man that connected with them. Believe it or not, that's what they're looking for. So now if that man does not project that to them, if that's how they look at it as being love, because that's why I say everybody looks at love differently. So now that's where dad plays a big part in that girl's life. Yeah. But a, a lot of homes doesn't have dad there because that mother was already molded. See, this go way back from the beginning. Everybody that comes into family, they are bringing in what they've been taught. Right. So it's very important to teach that child right. Mm -hmm. So now you go get married. Now I'm, I'm still going, going to stand up on love because love changes everything. Yes, it does. Right. Yes. And when two people meet each other, if they loving right, Something will work out. that's right. Yeah. It's going to work out. You ain't going to be up there arguing all the time. Right. You want to come to some sort of agreement. Now I'm going to go with what you said. Something happened along the way. Yes, something had to happen. Mm -hmm. If now they no longer in love, now love is just there on the, on the surface. But it's not being projected right. So you walking around, yeah, honey, I love you, I love you. But yet and still, you saying all these things to me. You wasn't doing that before, yeah, because I was in love with you before. Mm -hmm. Now I'm not in love with you, so I'm going to treat you like the next woman out there. Or the next man out there. But when two people are together that are saved, that ain't got no business being in the home. That's right. That's, that's the way I look at it. That ain't got no business being in the home. Right. If somebody says something to one another, they should be man enough, woman enough to see their wrong. That's You're supposed to be able to look at your wife or look at your husband and know you said something and hurted them. Right. Not go on, well, I'm going to get you back. Oh, 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 really? I ain't cooking your food. No. You go on and cook that food. I mean, if that's what you do, there's some women that's just not cookers. Now, if you marry that woman and she ain't never cooked, don't get married and speck her to cook. Right. Well, that's true. That's true. You already accepted her as a non-cooker. Right. Mm -hmm. And now all of a sudden, oh, well, you my wife. You, you supposed to be cooking for me. Well, I guess I ain't your wife. So a lot of times marriage changes people. Right. And not for the better. It turns out for the worst because now they got this perspective and you, I'm the man. I'm supposed to, oh, I'm the woman. You know what I'm saying? So you got to do what I say and, and I'm going to control you. But you got to understand that woman that's controlling, it came from somewhere. Yeah. It came from somewhere. Well, that's what I said, expectation. Exactly. Yeah, well, they need uh, a lot of help. Yeah. Mm -hmm. right, then that's where the church comes in. Right. When you are in a church mm -hmm. and you're having a problem like that, mm -hmm. you should be able to come to church and get counsel. Mm -hmm. 
you shouldn't have to break up your marriage. Or if, if uh, something is going wrong there, you shouldn't have to wait till it fall apart before you come and try to get help. Well, see, that has to be from the beginning. That church has yeah. to have that going. I'm not talking about a counseling se session. I'm talking about that church has to have that confidence to that couple to be able to come to that church mm -hmm. and express their marital problems. Mm -hmm. But if you come to the church, get married in the church, you're your whomever, pastor, bishop, whoever, but there's never no communication at all mm -hmm. with that couple. Now the couple is having problems. Do you really think the couple is going to come to you? No. You as a man, a woman, a God is supposed to be able to connect that and see that. Wait a minute, there's something going on with them Joneses. Mm -hmm. Something is happening. You go to God, speak to God about it. God speak to you. Now you could go to that person. But a lot of times people come into marriage with their own agendas. People, people going to counsel you, but they're counseling you from maybe their own experience. They're not counseling you from God. They got to count. When it comes to marriage, you can't put your opinion in a marriage. You can't do it. You got to put God in that marriage. And your experience. Exactly. A lot of people go by what they feel a marriage is supposed to be within somebody else's marriage. If your marriage ain't right. How you going to be giving somebody else some advice? That's right. You need to go to God for yours first. I mean, I'm just saying. That's the truth. Yeah, 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 yeah. Well, that's why you have so much divorces in the, in the Christian in the church. church. Yep. I said, hold in the churches. Mm -hmm. It should never be. It should mm -mm. never be. Mm-mm. It starts a relationship. It starts a relationship. And, and, and let me tell you something. The only reason I'm not married to my husband is because he went out there and committed adultery and had a baby. But had I not, and he told everybody, if I would have never found out about the baby, we would still be married. Okay? Because he came telling me some story about the old, the other men, and they had He said, if I never, if I would have never found out, because he was hiding it, 
about the other child outside, we would still be married. But God let me see it. Yeah. God yeah. wanted me to know. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. Well, it's a good thing that you did. Mm -hmm. I know from a friend of mine, uh, he had a child out. He was married for many years. Mm -hmm. And the boy was about 27 years old. And the only way that wife found out when, they, when he died, the boy came to the wedding, mm -hmm. to the funeral. Mm -hmm. And it, it blew her apart. Yeah, yeah. That, that was devastating. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's the worst thing. Now, adultery, I can see it. I can see it, but I can't. Uh, Okay. And that 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 adultery goes both ways too. Mm -hmm. You see what I mean? Why did he why, why did he have to run around? Because he wanted to. Because he wanted. Thank you. What what is that? Cause he I said because he wanted to. Mm -hmm. No, maybe the wife wasn't doing what no. the kids mm -hmm. He still had a choice. Mm -hmm. Huh? He still had a choice, and he chose to go mess around. He Maybe she weren't. Maybe she weren't doing what she was supposed to do. But everybody got to give account for their wrong. So if he took the choice, that means he took upon something. He took an attitude now. He took that upon himself. Well, I'm your husband, so you supposed to. So now for whatever reason, not saying right or wrong, she didn't. So now he that's his excuse. But remember, there's no excuse for wrong. No, I mean, he couldn't go to God and tell Right. I, I did this because of this and that. No, he couldn't do that. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Right. And I guarantee you he won't go to her because she's going to have something to tell him. And he don't want to hear it. Let me tell you something. <laughs> I still cook for my husband. I was cooking, cleaning, doing everything. Because I wanted to know what was going on. Just so he said, what, whatever, take whatever you want. Just let me know how much you took. Okay? Paying my bills. That's because he was doing what he was doing. And taught me I could save my check. Okay. Yeah, sure was. So, it wasn't that I wasn't doing nothing. Because I was doing everything I was supposed to do. But he was out there with his friends that let the devil fool him. And get caught up with them men working at night. And everybody that see a, a, a uniform think they got some money. And those girls, you know, and then they follow along with each other. That's how he got caught out there. <laughs> Even if he had repented and mm -hmm. all, you wouldn't have forgiven him. Uh, yeah, I forgave him. I, you know, when I think my mother and be with him. else was more mad at him than I was. God didn't let me get angry, angry like I should have been. I wasn't angry because the Spirit had already let me know. Something was wrong. I didn't know what. One day I came home and I dropped down at my usual time of prayer. And I was just crying and weeping and the spirit was grieved. I didn't know what was going on. Until I got up to do the laundry and I seen this paper in his uh, sweatpants that it was like um, folded up and I looked at it and it was where the woman, the baby was three years old and the woman had taken him for child support. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So now the church and everybody was so angry at me because my mother said, you want him back? And I wasn't as mad as I should have been. But I wasn't mad at him. Mm -hmm. Deacon in church too? Mm -hmm. Deacon in training. He was the one that, that helped get the pews in true life. Mm -hmm. Deacon in training. We see all of this. Mm -hmm. We can prevent a lot of things mm -hmm. by seeing a lot of things and knowing a lot of things. Mm -hmm. That that ought to help us yeah. and cause us to, to do the right thing before God right. and man. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. See, it's one thing to, to 
do things different from uh, a man, but we got a God to right. go before mm -hmm. us. And uh, it's one thing about it. Everybody going to die. Yeah. And what are you going to tell God when you stand before hmm. him? You can't go there and say, well, you know, God, I, I really would have did this, but you know. <laughs> and I, I tried to do this. Mm -hmm. It's already written down. situation is, mm -hmm. when you, whether your husband or wife, mm -hmm. don't let them call you to go to hell. That's right, mm -hmm. you can't. And God will warn you. Of yeah. He will. Yeah. He'll warn you of mm -hmm. No. All you can do is pray for them. Right. Mm -hmm. to the communication problem, Ephesians 4.15. It has well been said that love without truth is hypocrisy, and truth without love is brutality. We need both truth and love if we are to grow in our understanding of one another. How can a husband show consideration for his wife if he does not understand her needs or problems? To say, I never knew you felt that way is to confess that at some point one mate excommunicated the other when either mate is afraid to be open and honest about a matter then he or she is building walls and not bridges mm -hmm. yeah, that, that's, that's kind of bad isn't it yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. that means there's no communication no at, all. at all because if i say well, i never knew that They're little telltales, mm -hmm. and you go along anyway. Mm -hmm. Of uh, your your actions and all. Right. Yeah. You know, how you start it off? Yeah. Then you take off. You but those little telltales will let you know it's time to sit down and. Yeah, yeah. but then that's, that's when you, you you start to asking questions. Mm -hmm. Yeah. 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 That's what's not in it. In all that many years you've been married, and you mean to tell me you don't know how your wife feels about things? My husband is unsaved, and I know him. He looks at me at times, and he just say, you know what? Shut up. Don't even say nothing. Because I already know him. He, before he even get ready to say something, I already know. I already know what he wants. I already know the things that he don't like. So when it when 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 it's my job to do, which is always, but when it is come a time certain things that he needs or wants, it's already done. When he calling me up, he'll call me up. I'm on my way to church or however. 
Well, he called me up, a, uh, I think it was last, I think it was Sunday. He called me up. He said, um, I said, yes. I said, what you want? He said, um, can you get me a um, cheeseburger? I said, I got it already. Because why? I know that's what he wants. Mm -hmm. I walk in the door with the things that he needs. So these yeah, is, that's, that's you see what I'm saying? These are the things that you pay attention to as a, right. as a wife and husband. Right. Regardless of the fact of being saved or unsaved, the fact right. is, is you're, what you're supposed to do in reference to keeping the peace. That's right. That's right. No matter how, well, I'm not saying I get mad, but, you know, no matter how mad we may get at each other, we're supposed to keep the peace. Yeah, that's right. Even if you disagree with what he's saying, you can agree to disagree and disagree to agree. It's not all one way. It's not all about, oh, because I'm the man or I'm the woman. You got to listen to what I say. Just like I said, my husband is, is not saved, but he's the head of my house. When he come and make a decision, listen, Sharon, this is what I want done. I want you to do this. What? I'm going to say, no, you don't tell me what to say because you ain't saved. It ain't interfering with my salvation. Right. He don't mess with me when it comes to my salvation. He, he come in and tell, sometimes we ain't even got no church. And he come, wait a minute. You ain't going to church? He knows these things already. You know it's right to do, you know. So why why neglect and then cause a problem? <laughs> That's right. See, many times we cause a problem by our own self, mm -hmm. and we look for God to get us out. Mm -hmm. The mess we get our own self our own into, self and, and we don't right. have to do that. That's do what right. you know right to do. That's right. You wind up in an abusive relationship. How you get there? Did you learn how to shut your mouth? Right. That's it. Especially being saved. Yeah. You don't run your mouth because you saved right. and he unsaved. Right. Right. He ain't got nothing to stop him from slapping you across the floor. That's true. That's right. You got to stand. If you stand in Christ right, it ain't going to be too much slapping. No, it ain't going to be. It ain't going to be nothing. Exactly. People don't understand. You know, you when you in a marriage, it says here, a, a, there must be in the home such a protective atmosphere of love and submission that the husband and wife can disagree and still be happy together. Right. Yeah. So if your love and submission, that's on both sides. Not only the woman got to be submissive, the man got to be and vice versa. Yeah. And then if you save, you, you should have self-control. Yeah. Exactly. Ain't no, you ain't going to start no hitting nobody. Mm-hmm. Lord Jesus. My father told me to do that. My little my, my father said, Don't let no man hit you. You pick up the biggest thing and knock his brains out. And you won't have that problem no more. Then you gotta go and pray about that. Mm-hmm. And I sure keep do praying. Because men is stronger than women. Some men. So if he hit me, I know I'm gonna go flying over this. <laughs> but when I get up, he better look like Lord me. Jesus. <laughs> Cause it's gonna come out. Huh? It's gonna come out. If it was that, that is my reflection. <laughs> <laughs> well, at least you're honest. So it counts. At least you're honest. You know it's programmed in my head. <laughs> okay. Well, well at least you're like honest. Dad, if you my husband and you hit me, you need to knock all the love out. <laughs> yeah. Well, turn the dad on the cheek. You haven't done uh, Got that for you. I haven't experienced that yet. <laughs> Not from a man. Well, at least you're honest. That's what counts. But I've, I've never. My 
Let's go on down. That was pretty good. Emotional giving honor unto the wife. Now I mentioned a lot of that at the bottom. Shepherd may be dead, but every husband must be a knight in shining armor. You have that at the top. A knight in shining armor to treat his wife like a princess. You hear that? Yeah. Every husband <laughs> must be a knight in shining armor. By no, the we way, ain't got say, that. The name Sarah means princess. Peter did not suggest that a wife is the weaker vessel, mentally, mm -hmm. morally, or spiritually, but rather yeah, but physically. Physical, right. There are exceptions, of course, but generally speaking, the man is the stronger of the two. When it comes to physical accomplishments, the husband should treat his wife like an expensive, beautiful, fragile vase, in which is a a precious treasure. Mm. Yeah, we know that. What do you think most men, they do that. Mm -hmm. they, they, when they really love their wife, mm -hmm. they, they treat them. Yeah, they really love yeah. And the wife always got the last say. Right. <laughs> yeah, they, 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 they learn to, after a while, they learn wow. to keep the mouth closed. Mm -hmm. Because even no matter what they say, mm -hmm. they're always going to be with the wife. Yeah. But as I said before, when you love one another and you're saved, that it can work out. It can work out. If he's not saved, it still can work out. If she's not saved, it still can work out. Because Mm -hmm. it's, 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 it's what you know about God and what God is doing. Right. And you go to God with your, all of your problems, you mm -hmm. kept it on God. And, and it's, looking for God to stop it. And it's when you know your place. You see, when, you, when you're when single, um, you, you have that liberty to do whatever you want to, whenever you want to. But when you become married, you become one, so you have to answer to your husband. You can't. Yeah, that's true. You have you can't do anything you want to do. You don't have that freedom. Right. You know, and that's what I I gleaned from my mother and father. You know, when I was single by myself, I did whatever I want. Go when I come, come when I please, whatever. But when I became married, I know that that had to change because I had to be my son, which my husband. I couldn't do all that other stuff because the things I had to do with the man, unless he was with me, taking me, or, you know. Well, so that's you what I tell my, I tell my granddaughter the same thing. Whatever you want to do now, go wherever, wherever you want to go, go now. So whenever you get married, then you yourself. Yeah, yeah. You ain't that's running all over the place. Mm -hmm. Some women don't get, stop running until they get married. And then they're all over the place where mm -hmm. so it busy. should be at home. And, and, and that puts a, a thought in a man's mind. You're so busy, what you doing? Right. Mm -hmm. You know, he can hear, so I think you're sleeping out of seeing somebody because you always got something to do. Go work. Yeah, if you do. don't have a business, <laughs> hey, you're so busy so doing all the time, you know? Anybody else? 
They said, oh, the husband should treat his wife like an expensive jewel. Mm -hmm. That is something. And I also think that that should also come from within the home of the children. It should be taught in the home. It's okay to teach in the church, etc. But if it haven't been started already, you talk all you want. If if whatever's going to be instilled in that woman or that man, if, if if it's not there, if love is not there from the beginning, if it's right. not taught no, it's to love your wife. Right. You see what I'm saying? If they're not actually seeing what love really is, they can go on and get married and get counsel before they get married. But if it's in them to dog a woman, they gonna dog them. Yeah, that's true. And vice versa. Right. Well, so it's daddy doing this. Right. Doing exactly. It exactly. It be down. Exactly. Same thing with women. The way they treat their husband. Mm -hmm. They see mama do it, my mm -hmm. aunt do it, my mm -hmm. friend do it. Mm -hmm. And they think that's the way it goes. Yeah. Exactly. But you know what, though? I have to kind of beg a differ on that because I, I counsel some people in, um, in Rikers Island and they wasn't taught. It's a difference when you're taught. Something. Well, that's why I taught. say it has to right. be taught. Like you said, yeah, not taught. it got to be taught. taught. They understood yeah. mm -hmm. what was going on and the reason why they had their problems. Right. And they did change. Yeah. So people can change. Yes, they can. Although I know my, you know, when even when they grew up with parents that fought all the time, and the, 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 you know, the father beat up the wife. And then the child that take on that spirit beating up all this other. Mm -hmm. But when you counsel them and let them know and give them the word, they do change and they see the difference because they want to change in their life. If you explain it to them, this is what you instill in your child now. Do you want your child to do it? So they people do change. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You know, but if they talk at a later age, they do change. Because mm -hmm. some people didn't have church. They never went to church. Mm -hmm. You know, their parents, they, maybe their grandparents went to church, but they right. parents didn't take them to church, right. and but they know of a church background. And, and you know, and I, I guess that just some habit people pick up too. Yeah. Not like beating your wife or beating your Children girlfriend. Children learn what they miss. I ain't no they habit. They born in what sin and it? shaped into iniquity. Mm -hmm. So any sin you do before them, you're shaping that okay. into them. I don't know, because my father know. never was a fighter. Mm -hmm. I ain't never know him. Neither. Mama had the last sad. Mm -hmm. But my brother, one of my brothers, he would beat his girlfriend up all the time. Mm -hmm. Mama would mm -hmm. always be calling me, telling me what it is. Yes, I know. 
That's sin. That's a and, sin. And for all the double dead guys. Mm -hmm. Number four, something inside of them. Anger. Yeah. Yeah. Something to get angry about. And the woman got something to do with the woman. Because I had a, a, a nephew like that. He would, oh, he would beat up his girlfriend. And all the girls think he's so fine. <laughs> until they get with him and he beat yeah. the mess up. <laughs> and I was like, yeah. okay. <laughs> they still love him. But, you know, he went to jail for that last one. He beat. And then in jail, he got counseled. And, um, and they talked to him. And he found out his problem, why he was beating up everybody, you know. And I said, wow. And he called me and he started talking to me. And I was listening to what he said. And I said, wow. You know, this is nothing. You've understood that, you know, your fault in everything. And he went and he apologized to the police. He, he said he felt bad. Mm -hmm. You know, God has to put you certain yeah. places yeah. for you to see, right. yourself. see yourself. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yes, sir. See yourself. Mm -hmm. Sometimes people. What mm -hmm. is so bad when you have holiness churches, same people? Acting up and getting a divorce and married and two and three married. Mm -hmm. It's bad. It's bad for the church, it's bad for mm -hmm. it's, it's just all in our bad. Mm -hmm. and, and, and as you said, the Bible the number said that uh, you be only for fornication, mm -hmm. but not two and three married. And then I guess that, that goes in what Bishop was saying earlier about the woman not doing what she was supposed to do. Mm -hmm. Why is the man constantly fornicating? Right. What's going on in each of those marriages that he has to wind up getting married again? Right. If it's the man or vice versa with the woman. Yeah. You see? Mm -hmm. Somewhere along the line, there has to be a draw strength. Doggish. Yeah. <laughs> and, it, and it it's just ridiculous. Okay. That's right. They now think it's all right. Now. You can get married twice, but after that you need to know. Mm. Right. Check two, yourself. Two, two marriages is enough. No. Check no. yourself no. after the first God one. Feed you, and you, you know, and something. As but, far as you if you're in the chariot, you got no money to do it. No. If it if it's if both of them is for fornication, Bishop, then that means God wants you alone by yourself. That's, that's that's where it. I was getting at. That's the cut off point. Leave it alone. But if you get married two and three and four or five, there's a problem. And then if you there's if you, a problem with you, not the people, you. Because you gotta marry all these people, ain't nobody was able to satisfy you. And then if you save, how you getting caught up in all that? No, right. That's true. That's what I'm doing. You ain't consult God. No. How how you getting married to okay, all right, we'll 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 throw it out there. Your first marriage, okay, they fine okay, all right. Now, now you go get married again. You should have learned from the first one. So you should have consulted God before you got married again. Now, no, we don't have control over those that fornicate. No, we don't. But God is supposed to be your guide. Right. He's supposed to be letting you know what's going on. Right. So now, if your if, if the Lord give you any indication that your wife is about to do something, as our evangelist said, it's time for okay. Let me let, let's sit down, honey. What what what's going on now? You. She don't know that, or he don't know that the Lord done let you know what he about to do. So now you want to try to 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 cat, grab the cat by the head. You want to try to stop this. Honey, what's going on? And if God is in it, he going to start spilling. He or she going to start spilling mm -hmm. out what's going on so that y'all can work at it. But it's a, um, it, 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 as you say, it, it looks bad on the person. Now, it may look bad or so on the church, but the fact of the matter remains that that person, the church got to still go on. Right. As long as the church is doing what it's supposed to do, right. whatever they want to do ain't, ain't got no business affect in the church. Right. Right. And, and really, a person's business doesn't have any, no. right, a say, person's business yeah. doesn't have any. And bring a on the church. Why? So. That's their life. That's you go on and you continue to preach. They wrong. Yeah. They, you know, that's why God said every man got to work out his own. 
That's right. That's right. And he said he's coming with his reward to reward every man. Every man according to his work. What about the unsaved? The unsaved seeing this going on. Seeing what? That the man continuously get married? Yeah. That's their choice. They want to follow in the unsaved way. Remember, they're unsaved. And they think it's all right. Exactly. So now we got to live the life right. But are they getting married continuously in that same church? <laughs> and if they are, they still got to give account. The church got to still go on. First of all, the church is the building. You know, people get that from Paul. When they said, if you can't contain yourself, it's better to marry and burn. But Jesus said, Yeah, I was the unsaved. Mm -hmm. But even the saved use that. And that's why God said, I'll judge the adulteries when I come. We're not to judge them. As long as they work is not hindering the ministry that they have to do. Because remember the scripture said, you can cause a many souls to come to Christ and lose your very own soul. As long as they fulfilling and doing the ministry, what they're supposed to do, that's not our business. That's God's business. That's why he told us to judge. Don't judge one another. So, so if a man, and you said, if, if he go out and marry two and three women, I'm judging him if I say he's wrong. Yeah, you keep your mouth. You got to keep your mouth off of God's people, especially if he's anointed. Because God said, I'll judge the adulterers when I come. So if he's anointed. It's not our job to judge them. Wait a minute. You say he's anointed and he got three wives. Mm -hmm. Because remember, the, the man God anoints, we can't take that from him. People can be anointed and just as mean as the devil, running people out of the church, but they anointed. You can't take that from them. I'm going to leave that alone. <laughs> <to the side. laughs> you can't. You get no. some of that repentance. You can't take people's gifts away from them. No, but you can lose that though. Only God can take it. Yeah. yeah. But that's why he said you can cause a many souls to come to Christ and lose your very own soul. Because you're not doing the word. You're preaching it and teaching it, but you're not living it. Okay? You're not living what you're preaching and teaching. So that's why I say... Whatever the people do, mm -hmm. if they want to go out there and get married 5, 10, 20 times, you, you go on and preach the word. Right. You right. preach the word. They want to come in the church. We can't close the door. They want to come in the church. Let them come on in the church. They're sin. Mm -hmm. They have to give account for. We go on and do what God say do, preach that word, and God will take care of the rest. They want to whatever. We have to come to the conclusion that our lives is what we're going to have to give account of. If we spend so much time worrying about somebody else's life, we're going to miss the mark. We're going to miss it. God going to come and leave and we're going to still be sitting here talking about somebody's marriage. We got to live the life the way God wants us to live it. That's why it's very important to stay in connection with God so God can tell us what to do. And if we preach the word right, even against what whoever is married, if, if, if they feel they wrong, they going to leave. We ain't got to get rid of them. They say, if you resist the devil, what are you going to do? He going to flee. So if God, if, if God is a part of anything, it's going to be right. It's going to be good and it's going to prosper. It's going to go forth because the whole thing is about God getting the glory, not us. Through the Holy Ghost, the truth of his word. Mm -hmm. See, that natural man look at the literal things, and we stay on that. We should be at a higher level. God said our ways is not his ways, and his thoughts is higher than ours. So after you get a certain level in the Holy Ghost, he's going to open up your understanding to a new level that you can That's rightly true. divide the word. See, we're stuck at a level now that we should have been surpassed long ago, you know? 
And that's why we can't get, we can't worry about other people. We got to worry about, gotta do, am I doing what God called me to do? That's right. Because our mission is soul. Help delivering soul. Mm -hmm. <coughs> And regardless of how often someone else, since we're talking about marriage, may go out there and get married, mm -hmm. it may not be for us. So we don't do that. You see what I'm saying? They may look like they're getting away with it or however the case. Let them go on. That doesn't mean we step out. That's why when you say, well, what about the, the unsaved person seeing it? They unsaved. That's their choice. But a saved person, you see what I'm saying? They do what God say do. They don't take they don't take it upon they not supposed to take it upon they say, Oh well this 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 person got five wow well, let me go on out. My husband done did this to me, so I'm leaving. You may not be able to do it. That's right. You see what I'm saying? What someone else does doesn't mean you can do it. God will whip you good and may you may lose your crown. Mm -hmm. So it's all about trying to do what God wants you to do and you please God. Yes, he will. And especially if you have a purpose for your life. If you got a calling in your life, God is telling you what to do and why he's doing it. Okay? He, he's not going to lead you astray. And you're not going to keep going into the same thing over and mm -mm. over and over mm -mm. unless you're into self. Right, exactly. Into self. <laughs> I, wouldn't, I don't get caught up in nobody. Not as really many times as you want. That's mm -hmm. you. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I know I got my own soul to save. <laughs> That's right. And you got so your I own wife. I have the same soul. Uh -huh. I have to live the life. Right. Of course. And if he go out and do this, he done lost what he thought he had. Because mm -hmm. there's no man that God that saved and filled with the Holy Ghost can go out there get no two and three wives and still call himself anointed by God. He done lost that. And you read your Bible, and you find out. Yeah, you got because you got to figure out what is the cause. Because every cause is not for a divorce, like the word said. Every cause is okay. not for a divorce. Got a point there. Got a so point. now, if he just divorced her because they grew apart, well, he got it. He still mm -hmm. got to give an account, and God still said, "I will judge the adulterers when I come." See, it's not for us. Cause Cause we can, said, we can said, always say he, that. I thought, but, I thought I read where he said, well, are you the adult? He, he, he did their own body. Yeah. That's why he, he's... They well, but, carry, but, but, when, but he didn't tell us house. to bid him by. Them. No, no, no. I know that. Because he told us, if we if our brother and sister is found in the fort, to restore them in the spirit of me. Right. He didn't say, talk about it, because it could be you. He could... God could... You see, we got to be careful because God can let you fall into the same situation. That's why God said, don't put your mouth on it. Just leave it alone. Because that person got to work it out for themselves. They got to answer to God for themselves. Because when you keep doing things repeatedly and you don't have a cause, then that means that you, God will turn you over to a reprobated mind. Or if he has a calling on your life, he doesn't take the anointing away from you like man thinks. He, that's why he said you can cause a many souls to come to Christ and lose your very own soul. When you stand up before me and say, depart from me, you workers of iniquity, I know you're not. I, I know a lot of people have an anointing on them. And they lost their lost soul. And it's, it's not a sad thing. They can't lose what they have. Mm -hmm. They can. They can you lose. Can. Mm -hmm. Because, because when you step out of the, when you step out of the will of God, yes. you 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 asking for anything to come, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and that's the devil's job mm -hmm. to get you out and, and let you think that, you that you're right. all right mm -hmm. when you're all wrong. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna stay safe. We have to make up our mind. We're going to heaven. Mm -hmm. Anybody else can do whatever they want to do. Act in any kind of way they want to act. Mm -hmm. But when you make up your mind, I'm going to please God. Mm -hmm. That's what you No, that don't matter. That's right. And you can't let nobody else uh, talk you out of that. Mm -hmm. 
Because see, the devil don't mind you you quoting the Bible. He don't mind you shouting. Mm -hmm. He don't mind you you doing whatever. Mm -hmm. But it's living hope. It's the living hope. That's right. You can't do it. And that's what makes the difference. You know, if you You oh, well. you won't see, be able to sleep anymore. You said what? I said when you have the Holy Ghost and you do something wrong, it won't let you sleep. The Holy Ghost will not let you sleep. You'll toss and turn until yeah. you get that thing right. Yeah. And so with that, the same thing over and mm -hmm. over. Right. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Right. You're in danger. Mm -hmm. That's what. Yeah. You say you can, yeah. when you when God brings it to your remembrance right. that that's wrong, you got that's to make right. it right then. Yeah, that's right. You can't wait a month later right. and say I'm, I'm gonna do going. something mm -hmm. about it. because so many other things the devil done talking about on mm -hmm. that. Mm -hmm. And before you know it, you're mm -hmm. out of the world. Mm -hmm. Look at Samson. Mm -hmm. He thought he was he he, he was all right. I shake myself at other times. Mm -hmm. But when he did, he found out he didn't. The Spirit of God had left him. And as I, I agree, because being saved and having the Holy Ghost, your Holy Ghost is only going to do for you how deep you are in God. Right, right. So if you continuously doing something over and over and over again, the Holy Ghost has checked you, yes, yes. but you are overriding that. That's right. So therefore, you have not submitted yourself right. nor your will That's right. to the Holy Ghost. Mm -hmm. Because the Holy Ghost will not allow you to sin. No. We'll let you know before you do it. Now, if you go on and do it, then you haven't submitted yourself fully. I'll tell you something. You have to repent. You, if you pray, mm -hmm. you can't even pray right. Wow. Until you get that thing right. Well, that's true. And most time when people are getting away from God, they're not praying. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. They don't slack up a prayer. Mm -hmm. And when they slack up a prayer, that's when the devil moves. Right? Yep. Yeah. Yep. That's true. That's his grounds. It's a bad mm -hmm. thing to do. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. When a young man, I think. Mm -hmm. When a young couple. Mm -hmm. yeah. When a young couple starts dating, the boy is curious and thoughtful. Curious. After they get engaged, he shows even more curiosity and always acts. Courtesy, baby. Courtesy, I'm sorry. He shows more courtesy and always acts like. Yeah, that should be like. Yeah. It should be like a gentleman. Mm -hmm. Sad that to is. say, soon after they get married, many mm -hmm. a husband forgets to be kind and, gen and gentle manly and starts taking his wife for granted. He forgets that ha the happiness in a home is made up of many little things, including the small courtesies of life. I think this happens because there is a different outlook on love. Yeah. It says when a couple, young couple starts dating, mm -hmm. the boy is courteous and thoughtful. Mm -hmm. So he's starting out in the right way right. because this is the girl, I want to get this girl. Right. He already got an agenda because if love is there from the beginning, right. then he's going to always be courteous. Going to always be a gentleman. And when he gets married, more so. With the woman as well. The woman will, now you, you see, wow, I, I, I think our um, pastor Holmes said it. He got a, a meal from his wife. He thought, thought it was something else. Right. Because, see, these, these start coming out more so when you don't say I do. Now, now, now that love that, that you was portraying in the dating concept, now it's coming out in the marriage. Mm -hmm. But what tends to happen is that the, the motive of the marriage comes out after the marriage. Mm -hmm. So if they are abuser, you, and I really feel that anybody that's abuser, you see it before you get married. Yeah. 
it shows up. You just overlooking it because you're blind. And, and they say love is blind, but that ain't even love. That you just pure blind. But um, whatever that man or that woman's motive is for stepping into that marriage, if love ain't got nothing to do with it, all the and truth going to start trouble. coming out. Yep, you're in trouble. You're in trouble. But if love is in there, this it's a beautiful work. marriage. It's a beautiful yeah. marriage. I know a guy that was a young fella in school. This boy got married to this girl when they, when they got out of high school. Before they got out of high school, mm -hmm. and they were still together a few years ago. Mm -hmm. I, I think she died. Okay. But that was the only thing that separated, separated them, them was death. Mm -hmm. But they was in love with one another, mm -hmm. even, you know, when mm -hmm. they were young. Mm -hmm. It, it, That's it, beautiful. It, when, when you look at love, is a, what, what Telling is you covers, love? When covers the love. Right? Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Say, love. Love will make you stand up there, out there on the mm -hmm. corner. Mm-hmm. In the cold. In the rain. In the cold, in the rain, no hat on. Yes, right. Heaven ain't no supper. Tommy <laughs> <laughs> Brown. Yeah. yeah. That's what happened. <laughs> make you say yes oh, when you yeah. want to say no. Huh? I say make you say yes when you want to say no. That's right. Yeah. Yeah. Love is powerful. And that's why it's the main thing that represents God. Yeah. Yeah. Because his love is so genuine mm -hmm. that he gave his son. Right. And then his son's love was so genuine that he gave his life. Right. So now when we come together as individuals loving one another, that's how strong our love is supposed to be. You know who's talking about that? Solomon. Yeah. Yes, he does. Song of Solomon. Mm -hmm. Yep. Mm-hmm. Yes, uh, I think these lessons are beautiful. Yeah. You know, we just have to take these lessons. Yeah. And, 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 and we can, it can be a help to us, and we can be a help to somebody else. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, one help. <laughs> because I, I see that a lot of young people today, they, they need uh, uh, somebody to talk to them. They need counsel. Too late now. And you can call the cops or whatever, but they, they need somebody to talk to them. Yeah. Because, see, sometimes people get saved in the church, and they think, oh, I'm saved now. And uh, the husband can't tell me nothing, and this is mm -hmm. and I can act the way I want. So no. holy. You're still subject to God. Yeah. Like you're, and you, to you your got husband. a mate, but you're supposed to be honest. Subject to your mate. Yeah. Because yeah. he said it's single, but they care for the things of the world. Right. But the wife has to care for the things. I mean, the single woman care for the things. Um, um, you was right. Of the world. Yeah. More so than a married right. woman. She has to care for the things of her husband. Right. So that automatically lets you know you have to change now because your first priority is your husband. Yep. Whereas a single woman, I, my first priority is to care for the things of the Lord. Yeah. So, so now your priority now. Yeah. 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 Yeah.